so I'll do, I have a sermon uh, on drugs, and it's weed for grandmothers. That is uh, uh, the one thing I know. And uh, <laughs> if I know anything, which is stretching it. But uh, the, and I, I always go through the, the, the science part of that, but I never go through the, the hard part of that, and that's how I actually got there. And it was after two years on the road uh, doing research for a book about weed and just asking everybody how and why they used it. Uh, that's when my grandmother's Parkinson started to uh, really worsen and started to get harder to hit that levodopa sweet spot uh, in the middle and the, and the shakes were going up. Um, and that's when I started realizing that the CBD molecule in cannabis is incredible for calming everything, for helping people sleep, for transforming and giving back extra years. Um, and in fact, the more I looked, the more incredible it became. Uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, MS, ALS, everything to do with the brain, it turns out this molecule could really help, and a whole bunch of other stuff besides. Um, and, but I was only starting to learn that as, just as she was starting to go. Um, and it was hard, because you didn't quite believe it. You didn't quite believe any of it, because, you know, it's stoners making the claims. <laughs> and, like, when you're out there at the pot festivals, all those stereotypes that you think about with stoners, it just blows them away, what you actually see. Um, but when they're talking about cannabis as a medicine for humans, it really is true. And now it's been a couple of years of research, and I have a hundred different diseases related to aging, literally, that I need to mention. Uh, as a scientist, and it's going to take me a 600 page book to even start to outline it. Um, and it's actually based on Moby Dick, which is I have the whale here in case you want to join the No Nonsense Club. Um, but uh, that's what makes it difficult is how to um, get everyone to believe what you're talking about. And unfortunately, I have to start with my grandmother because we only got one drop of medicine into her before she passed. Um, and it didn't get a chance to do her any good. Um, but she was the reason that I realized what the secret is. If you want people to believe you, you get grandmothers to turn to the camera and say that to them. <laughs> that always works. There's all these old white guys preaching about weed for a hundred different reasons, but if you have a grandmother who says, I have this crazy little disease that you've never heard of, my doctor tried every pharmaceutical that you've ever known, none of that worked, then we did it, and I never fucking smoked weed before, I don't give a shit about weed, but this works. <laughs> and to take that dozens and dozens of times and do a graphic novel where you look at the camera, you can actually see them saying this. And I realized that was the key. Um, that's what helps everybody uh, know about this. And it turns out, what gauges your support for medical marijuana is not whether you toke up or not, or your libertarian leanings. It's whether if you know a medical marijuana patient. There are probably some in the room right now. <laughs> I'd like to be. Yeah. <laughs> if so, come find me, I'd like your story. Um, but the sermon is, talk to your grandparents about weed. Specifically the CBD molecule, which is the molecule that does the healing in the plant. And you can order it online from Bluebird Botanicals and have it shipped to your house. And I have no interest in that company besides the fact they make medicine for cheap. And they're the kind of place that uh, if you're on income disability and send them a letter, they give you a 50% off coupon for life. And I've seen it change more lives than anything in my life ever has. And the hard part is, everybody has their thing, especially among this hippie spiritual world. You know, it's turmeric, it's, it's transcendental meditation, it's bondage of a certain style. It's something that will change your life and make everybody's lives better. And everybody thinks their thing is really the thing. And these people things really are things. I think my thing is really the most weed for grandmas. Vital Light it doesn't get you stoned and it protects like nothing you've ever seen and you can get so many benefits you wouldn't believe it. And come find me because that really is my sermon and that's the closest thing to my heart that I can pull off. So thank you so much for listening.